Oh, tires. It is my biggest anxiety while we travel in our RV. So today, we got new tires, which I will show you in a little bit. But stick around because I'm gonna tell you how this happened to us a couple of years ago. Let's go. Yep, here we are again. No. I know, I caught this one. Well, way before anything happens, you noticed. Now, why do these tires give me such anxiety? Well, that story begins back in, oh, I think it was 2014 or 2015. Uh, it was our first RV, not our first RV, actually it was our second RV. Our first RV was a pop-up, but we had that briefly. Our second RV was a hybrid. And this hybrid we were taking to Hershey Park and it was fairly new to towing, right? But still cautious, you know, I was thinking before I uh, drove, but we were coming out of a gas station and I took a turn, I guess too sharp and hit the side of the curb and instantly my tire popped. I mean, you just heard it. It was like, boom. And oh sh Oops, I can't say that, can I? It's a family channel. But uh, we pulled over the side of the road, um, <clears throat> noticed that we, you know, burst the tire, uh, had to find a tire, wasn't as knowledgeable as I am now on changing a tire, so I had to find someone to change it for me and got that fixed and taken care of. Went on our merry way and if nothing else, it taught me a lesson to watch my turns. But the story doesn't end there. You're probably wondering why this RV is a mess right now. Well, we are in the process of getting ready for a trip coming up in April. We're going to the Great Smoky Mountains and we're doing some remodeling in here. Uh, completely ripped out the dinette, but I'll get to that in another video. So, the funny thing about the tires, I mean, if there could be a funny thing, is that when we're driving, the tires give me anxiety, let's be honest. But uh, I have taken steps to prevent this anxiety. Uh, I've gotten a TPMS, which is a aftermarket um, Bluetooth technology, little device that monitors the tire pressure, and the temperature of your tires as you're going down the road. So you can have a heads up on a possible blowout before it happens, uh, which is something I would never drive without. Um, I also change my tires regularly. I mean, not every season, but probably every three to four years, I get all brand new tires and I monitor them. I, I, I look at them, I look for cracks, I look for uh, irregular wear. I really take good care of them. Not like the tires on my car that I drive to work in because I, I pay no mind to those tires, really. It's just the trailer tires that give me anxiety. Uh, last night when we pulled into the campground, I noticed that one of the tires on the trailer, the tread was running a little thin. Here, I'll show you. So, if you take a look here, I don't know if you can see, but on the right side here, <clears throat> The uh, tread is running thin. It's not bald, but it's running thin. Just to give you some perspective, here's the good one, okay? And tread really good. If you look right here, there's a number right here. There's four numbers. So I think this one is 1122. So that means that the tire was made in the 11th month of 2022. So you wanna make sure that you don't have tires that are, you know, seven, eight, nine years old. So that's another thing you can do. You want to make sure that your tires are inflated to the proper PSI. And I can give you a link to some of the, the uh, accessories that we use, like a tire pressure gauge. And we actually travel with a Vyair pump, which is absolutely incredible. It's a small little handheld pump that we use to inflate the tires on the go, which is absolutely incredible. I wouldn't travel without that but all the links to the descriptions of the accessories that we use to keep our tires in great shape will be listed below. Uh, fast forward to later that summer and we are driving home from a campground in Massachusetts and we have a huge blowout. Um, same tire, side of the road, had to have someone come help me. Again, still naive, not putting two and two together, connecting the dots, just thought it was a freak thing. This was actually, really scary because somebody had, I didn't even know 
at this point didn't have a TPMS, did not know that the tire blew. Uh, somebody pulled up next to us and they were like, look, your tire, your tire. So pulled over side of the road, got that taken care of, no big deal. So that's two tires that blew on that RV. So now a year goes by, campers in storage, and we decide that we wanna take it down to Florida for the April break. Get in the car and we're driving down. We're probably, we're, we're from New York, we're pr as if you couldn't tell from the accent, but we're driving down and we are probably near like North South Carolina. And I noticed that the tire is wearing the same exact tire. So now I'm like freaking out. I'm like, what is going on here? I don't know. Well, I call my brother. Shout out to you, Michael. I call my brother and I tell him that we're having this issue with the tire. First thing he says, very first thing he says is, well, you probably have a bent axle. Did you hit anything? Light bulb goes off in my head. Of course, I told him, no, I didn't hit anything. But the light bulb went off in my head. When we hit that curb almost a year and a half ago, I likely bent the axle and it was now causing an irregular rotation on the tire, which continuously wore out the same tire. Crazy. We limp down to Florida, and that's where the story gets really good. Okay, so now we're in Florida, we're in Disney, and this is uh, where I told you the story gets good. We're in Disney with the camper. The last thing we wanna do is go have the camper looked at and ruin one of our Disney dates. So, we got hooked up through a friend with an RV tech and he said he would come out to the campground and take a look. So lo and behold, he comes out to the campground, he takes a look and he says, yeah, I think your axle is bent. Well, that is not the news I wanted to hear because we still had 1500 miles to drive home. So he suggested we bring it over to um, an RV shop repair shop, which we did the following day. And they put it up on this uh, like kind of machine, I guess, where they can test the the pitch or the angle of the axle and sure enough it was bent so we had two choices one we could leave the RV there because it was under warranty and we could get it repaired um, they would have to order the part they would have to then do it now mind you the RV is in Florida we don't live in Florida we live in New York so that would require that would have required us to drive the truck home because we had the truck then I'd have to go back there to pick it up when it was ready. And it just seemed like a lot of work. Um, plus they didn't have like an exact timeline. And our other option was to buy a new camper. I'll let you uh, figure out what we did. Hey, if you wanna follow our travels, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and join us on all our travels. And we hope to see you one day on the road.